on? Mom's waiting for the short go run of team roping in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Riley's been gone like 10 days. He's finally making his last run, then he'll be headed home. Hmm. Ridgebug, he's getting ready. Where are you going, Ridgebug? Got, got some cattle to go work, so he's getting all geared up. Show us what you got there, Ridgie. <laughs> oh. That's a knife. <laughs> Don't cut your finger. Oh, top ten for steer wrestling. Ten steer wrestlers to go, and then team roping. Yeah, then we're six out. Team roping. Sixth out will be Riley. So getting close, and we're gonna go to work. Sissy, you gonna be my taxi driver today? Come on! You need the practice. River Leg in Florida. Y'all are next, Ryder. Riley Hughes, Trey Bingham on deck. Hazen Shumway, Dave Bell. You'll be in the hole. 27, 29, 47. Got you in the number two spot in the round. Breathe it all down to Nevada and Utah. Nevada and Utah. Riley Hughes, Trey Bingham. Mm. Now they're getting warmed up. 778 plus 5, 1278. Good run, 1278. Got a special chauffeur today. Sissy's going to take us to work. And look what the crew, the work crew, is wrecked. Ridge. Robbie, Rattler and Rance, that's the ropers. They got their horses saddled. What horses do we got? Rambo and Tough. We're gonna go check some traps we set the other day. See if we caught any big wild bulls. Whoo! Reggie's got a knife. Now oh, that's a knife. He also got a bullet hole in his hat. Tip your head down, let's look at that. Look right there. See that bullet hole? Let's sail this ship there, mama. We got Cheez-Its if we get hungry. Don't make no mess back there. I don't know if it's from that bad bump the driver hit or not, but we got a flat tire on the front of this truck. Luckily, we have a spare, and we have these here little tools, but we're missing something. 
the little Mickey Mouse jack that goes under the back seat has been stolen out for some other purpose at some other time. So it's got a lug wrench and a tire and a flat and no jack. So we're gonna try some interesting stuff to see if we can change a tire without a jack. Okay, this guy, this idea might not be a good one, but the idea is to get some rocks, walk up under the axle, and then go to digging and try to dig out enough under that tire that we can get it off and another one on. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Every second of every day, but... Have pine root. And those don't make it easy to dig. See those roots real? Yeah. Those are messing up my digging with my nice shovel here. How do you like my shovel? Turn the camera upside down. Camera's upside down. Get those ripped out of there. Show what Sissy's got right there. We have an air compressor. We don't know how bad of a leak this tire has, but it's dang sure worth a try to try putting some air in it. So pop the hood, hook that thing up. Where does it, let me see, get it out of there and see how it hooks up. Does it hook to the battery or does it plug in? Plug in. Pull it out of there. long enough if you open the door can you reach yeah it'll reach okay hold this put it in put some air in here well we don't have a jack or a shovel but we have an umbrella might as well take advantage of it it's hot over a hundred how's that air compressor doing we have an umbrella and an air compressor, just not a jack and a shovel. It's taking air, it's pumping up. I don't know what kind of leak it's got, but we're gonna try this idea out. Who knows, maybe the leak's slow enough we can get somewhere. I don't know if we have any tire plugs. I'll have to check and look around and see if we can find any tire plugs. I feel like that he's got the cap to the crowd stand there. This he little by little is finding all the things we need. She has found a whole pack of tire plugs, an air compressor, and now the tool. You might have saved our lives, Sissy. Everybody, Sissy saved our lives. She found tire plugs and an air compressor. 
Such an amazing child. Why don't you? Dad, don't go out. Okay, be super quiet and listen for a leak. I can't even hear a leak. You want to spray some water on it? Maybe you just like knocked it off the bead whenever you hit that big bump. Maybe. Well, one thing about it, if we can't hear the leak, it means it's not a very big one. We may be able to pump it up, go, even if we have to stop every once in a while and put more air, we should be able to make it home. So it looks like this tragic death in the hot desert story is not that dramatic after all. Look at that. We don't have a jack or a shovel, but Sissy managed to find all kinds of good stuff like tire plugs and air compressor. It's a lot better than my idea of trying to dig a hole with a stick underneath the tire. But guess what now? Somebody's got to wrestle that big rock out from under the truck. I'll hold the camera while you get it. First, we gotta we gotta tighten them up a little bit more. Sissy, tighten those lug nuts, aren't you? Torque them down. With some muscle. While I was wrestling that rock back out from under the truck, Sissy's about got us torqued down here. Got some air in the tire, not maybe full pressure, it's a little low, but it's up pretty decent and we can't even hear the leak. We did hit a really hard bump in a ditch back there. I don't know, somehow it could have. All right, load up, let's go. Dad, how do you put it in? We got one more, just take that in the truck and hang on to it. We're gonna probably have to change that tire obviously sooner or later so go ahead and get in we got one more trap to check on our way out of here and hopefully we wind up making it home sissy's saved the day also we're blaming the flat tire on her but still Yeah, she's the hero. She saved us, Ridgie. No, she didn't. She got us down here. Yeah, well, she got us an air compressor, tire plugs, everything we needed. Right yeah. out here in the wilderness, and she just kept pulling out all of the necessities. She wouldn't have had to if you didn't pop the tire. If we bought the tire, we would have yeah. 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 There's just different ways to look at this, huh, Sissy? Yeah, he wanted to get a yellow and the tire. <laughs> Okay, so it's in debate whether Sissy's an actual hero or not, but... No, she's not an actual hero. She's a fake hero. Who's the real hero here? Uh, Dad. Dad. Not no, uh, me. No, no. Dad. Me, don't oh, wait, hey, we're not home yet, so maybe we better just hold off on all this hero stuff. Dad. Here we go. Okay. Buddy, what lessons did we just learn from this flat tire? No, 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 no. We learned... Okay. What other lessons? Don't Keep going. There's lots of lessons here. Don't let Roxy drive. There's a couple of... She didn't save our lives. How about, did anyone learn this lesson? Before we leave out into the wilderness, make sure you have what? The right, the right tools. The right tools, which would include what? A jack. A jack, a, jack, a, shovel, a shovel, a spare a tire, oh, yeah. a lug wrench, like all the stuff you need to change one or two flat tires needs to be with you at all times. Did everyone remember that lesson? Let's yep. be thankful. We stopped there for a minute to add a little more air to our tire. We've got a whopping 27 PSI in it, but it's a lot better than none. All the little ones jumped out of the truck and headed out running down the road. They were gonna to try to walk to the next cow trap up here. It's a place that's got some goldfish that they like to harass. They've been catching the goldfish and transplanting them back to the house. One of our big troughs in the big feedlot at the house has had goldfish, but recently a lost 
crane, a bird with long legs and a long neck and a long beak. That sucker's taking a wrong turn, showed up at the ranch, and that thing came from somewhere where birds know how to fish because it's been over there in the trough getting all the goldfish and eating them. So I have to catch a few new goldfish here and take them to the house. And I don't know what to do about the stinking bird eating all the fish. Here's the kids right here. Inside? Uh, yeah, get in, let's go. Oh. Is the, I don't think you'll be able to run. I don't think you'll be able to run. Is it, is it like gonna run off or is it hanging around? Alright, you load the key. What's the plan? Let's see if we can catch a wild bull here. What? No, I think they're in the truck with Sissy. Got a wild bull inside. I think the one they saw on the outside has left the country. Ooh, how about him right there? See him? He's gone. Okay, let's try to load the one we got. Can I rope him? No, we're just gonna try to get him on this trailer. Load him right here.
Right here. Ella, come more this way. There's a ton over here. Okay, let me Okay, go for it. Put your mud. So I'm gonna interview these two. What was your favorite part about today so far? Uh, building my trap. Building his trap. What are you catching your trap? Nothing, I can't nothing, but I'm making it. Oh. And, and the cows probably are gonna get trapped. Oh, no. good. Help me try to get Thank money. You. What was your favorite part about today, Rhett? Uh, going in the camper. Going in the camper. And we're down with a yucky little bug. Oh. And what was your least favorite part about today, Rich? Catching the wild bull. Catching the wild bull. Catching the wild bull. What was your least favorite part? Uh, yeah, yeah. That means which part did you not like? Sticker. The what? Get stickers. Oh, getting stickers in his feet. That's not good. That's why his boots on, huh? Yeah. No, they are not my boots. They're a liar. Okay, that's no. Those are Ryder's boots. They're not his. Who's your best friend? And why? Riley? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who's yeah. your best friend, Reggie? Rance. Rance's. Hey, I got two. You have two? Who's the other one? Why and Rance. Friday and Rance? Hey, that's my bitch. Cut it out. Say bye to your fort. My, my fort? Yeah, say goodbye. Bye bye. Come on. Bye bye, little midget. Is that a snake rat? What? Is that a snake? No. It's not a snake, it's a horse. We're going to load the horses and then we're going to go home. What have you been doing? Uh, going in that. I think you're gonna need to take that shirt off before you get in the truck. It's got stinky mud all over it. Look at me. We just got back with our wild bull. Fencing crew's been working on the arena. Looks nice. Check that out. You gonna smash your fingers, Reggie? He will smash your fingers. All right, unload them horses, set some gates. Let's get him off of there before he... Yeah, why is he so mad? No. never met a human before. Never met a human before? Yes. Now he's bad. Now he's Yeah, stump him in with them. Wait, no, 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 no. Hopefully he'll find some friends there and... The... 
ten. Settle down a little. Yeah, you better close that or he'll get away over to the house. Probably go smash down your tree house or something. Can you lock that thing, Reggie? Oh, here, you can let the horses through first, I guess. Can you get up there? Yeah, can you hold climb. See if you can climb. Do you like to climb? If you were trying to get up to the freezer to get the ice cream out, you could get it. Rio's been getting strong. He's taking some protein supplement that you can find from Mons Pura. So go look in the description below. Go to Mons Pura and find some protein so you can be strong like Rio and fast. Come here, bully, bully, bully. That didn't work. You can if he busts that gate down at the end of the lane. That was a, a little bit of a malfunction there. Hey, where are you going? Put away with his friends there. Home sweet home. All the while that me and my crew were going to those cow traps. Rio and his crew has been tying some stays in the fence. It's looking pretty legit. We need to turn on the lights and do some roping. There's Luke, he did this whole thing himself. That's right. They didn't help at all. They just, they just decided to jump on. He's gonna narrate. Huh? Sit down. Everyone on YouTube, all you guys with the arenas, Krells, none of them are as good as this. Just pan out, Dad. Show them out there. Show them. Yep. 
I think if you finish it, it'll be in a roping magazine someday.